The stupidest meme ever, We're I think. still is, asking why Glizzy is the thing. Is oh the Nike thing, God. where it's like, just do it. Oh, yeah, But yeah. it was just like, oh, let's just put a picture of Michael Scott, and it's just like, little quote, just do it. <laughs> it's not funny. Uh, that I was, hated it. That was the worst trend for a minute. Wow. Um, welcome, welcome to Treasure Pits. Eat the uh, suck the chili dog. No. Just do it. People would lose their shit if I made that. I'm... <laughs> I should just do it, just to see what happens. You should just, just do, do it! it. <laughs> God damn it! That was too meta. <laughs> well, now we gotta get from too meta to metal unit. Uh, welcome to the treasure pit, What everyone. a segue that was. <laughs> this game looks somewhat promising. This one looks a little more polished. This is called Metal Unit. Uh, this is a game that just came out. I think it was January 26th, I believe, what I read. So just earlier this year. Um, Jelly Snow, I think, was the name of the publisher I just saw. Yeah. Cool little platform. No, Discord made it. Oh, yeah, Discord. I, uh, Discord, everybody knows the developer of Discord. <laughs> Good job. Um, and it's got that cool, uh, like, flame spark effect that every metalcore band has in their music video. Yeah, absolutely. The, the only thing videos. I'm already going to say off the bat is it has... The current appearance of a uh, flash game, but you think that so? Made, uh, it just—it yeah. looks like uh, I, maybe it's a little too minimal. I for mean, me. this is like the toppest of tier. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All right, all right. flash yeah. game. Yeah, it's uh, it's got kind of an anime look to it. We think it's like an action platformer kind of deal. So it do got some anime titties. Yeah, that's sort of a Metroid like. homage. I cannot wait. Metroid and anime titties. All right, what we got? New game? Yes. New game. I think so? you should have picked new game. Nope. Shit. Well, too late now. New power. Episode right. one. Feel the controls off the bat feel great. Yeah. Okay, good. Yes. Can, can you hit stuff? This is, uh... Okay, okay. triangle, sword, that's a I don't little like that. awkward. Square is hit. Square yeah. must always be hit. That might be a special. Um, I think I prefer... Oh, yeah, see down there? See how it's oh, Y yeah, okay. over top? So you, you might can be able change to change that. Yeah, you could probably assign those. Pause it or something. Mm. Alright. Anime titty. I love this girl. I'll have a manual now. Look, it says jump. How do I not have the manual up anymore? Probably after you get where I, I have, want you to go. Oh, yeah. okay, I gotcha. So this is the tutorial now. I have things against games being way too weeby for its own good. Oh, oh that one hurt you. Yeah. I got a gun. Nice. Bang bang! Oh, Shoot the little generator, dude. Maybe that's ultimately gonna be like. Well, my that's what I was trying to say. Weapon. Yeah. Personally, I think I'd rather have that on the circle, but I mean, you're I clearly gonna get more to... control, so yeah. I don't know. Maybe yeah. I should, may, uh, Something you could just play around with as you go, really. Yeah. I, I am eager to see some like real level design, and right off the bat, I find this one very aesthetically pleasing. Was it bird flying backwards? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, was it? There are. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what the hell? All Why? The birds did that. that must Why is have been there a manta ray up there? Oh my god, what's happening? Some very interesting design choices so far. I'm actually um, liking the overlaying effects here. Yeah. Truthfully. Right, fuck these got arrows. Lost in the game. Oh! Okay, that's oh, what that does. Oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Some, like, Donkey Kong barrel yeah, stuff. Yeah, alright, I like that. That, yeah, I like that too. That's, Ooh. that's an interesting mechanic, and I hope it's carried further. See, skill trees are good shit. <laughs> yeah, Always dude. yes. Always <laughs> yes on the skill tree. Elements, What's that? Yeah. Missile launcher. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Sick as hell. Oh, boy. They didn't... They just equipped to... To your... It just... Yeah, oh, oh, it just does it automatically? Oh, it's like oh. a passive. That's tight! Okay. That I is like that. actually kind of cool. All right, so this game is impressing me a little bit more. So you get some accessories and... Okay. Oh, so you're just a person. There we go. We can just buy I some smooth face. Alec, smooth faced alligator. Nice. I thought you were going to call him smooth faced Alex. Oh, he's got an eyeball. It's just in the shadow. Uh, is it an alligator man? So, metal unit. Um... Metal unit is a neat little action platformer type game. Um... We played probably over an hour of it, probably close to two hours of this game, honestly. Um, it's got kind of an anime aesthetic to it. Uh, Wait, we spent two hours on this? Maybe maybe one hour. I, I, I wouldn't think really it was keep track of the time. Like one hour. But, um, yeah, what'd you guys think about this? I... It, it 
definitely went past my expectations when I first started playing it, or not first started playing it, but when I first started watching you all play it. Um, like, every single time, it kept introducing new things that were like, oh, well, shit, that's, that's interesting. And so for that, I'm gonna say that it's, it's definitely feels like a complete game. It looks good. The visuals are there. Um, there's some slight things that are just like, not to my liking. The biggest one being, I, I get tired of anime tropes. I get, <laughs> yeah. I, I get real tired of repeated anime tropes. Like, uh, did our main protagonist have to be a ditzy anime girl with tiggle bitties? Yeah, it felt the the big anime boobs felt gimmicky to me. Yes, uh, which I didn't like that so much. But um, I'm gonna say nice every time I see them. Absolutely. But I'm, I I don't <laughs> feel I need to see them every single time in a video game. I see it too much in video games already. Yeah. If we um, if we kind of take that sort of stuff out of the the equation though, it's yeah. like there was it, it started out as just kind of like. Okay, it's just a platformer. Great. You got a gun and a sword. You beat stuff up. But then you kept getting all these add-ons and shit. Yeah, it, 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 the pace at which it introduced new mechanics felt good yes. to me. It gave you just enough time to kind of get used to it before it added something else. The melee combat, I, I think we both would agree, is the one they should center on versus the gun combat. It was fun. I liked fighting with a sword, man. But honestly, you can kind of juggle all of them. Yeah, um... That's cool. I mean, you could really just choose whatever you prefer and do it. Yeah, and just become a, a giant bullet hell monster. Yeah, um, I liked that. You know, you could get like experience points for your weapons. So I, I, I don't know if there's gonna be like a weapon modifying system or something where you can, you know, upgrade weapons and stuff later on in the game. Or yeah, not. and then it introduced other armors. Yeah, like, that was cool. Um, some cosmetic armors, and then like you know some set bonuses and stuff for certain equipment, and a little skill tree where you can build up your character. Like it, it, it. it got Got pretty in depth fairly quickly, mm -hmm. but it was it felt manageable at the same time. Yeah, I feel like even in an hour, I don't feel like we got very deep into this game. No, not at all. And I think there's more to it than I had previously given a credit for. Yeah, let's talk about the controls. I feel like Josh and I spent probably the most time playing. Um, it right, seemed like they were tight right off the bat. I, f I felt like the controls were incredibly tight. They felt really good. Um, I don't know if you felt the same way about it when you played. It felt pretty good to me uh the only thing that i felt was kind of wonky was the dash but i feel like maybe i don't yeah, know Yeah, the dash was a little weird i feel like i remember seeing a steam review to um talking about the dash and how it was kind of weak yeah um it, it felt okay to me normally um but when you would use it to like dodge through like a lightning trap or to dodge an attack or something it got kind of weird and clunky there's like this pause in the animation and that felt a little jarring i thought yeah mm -hmm. it didn't feel as smooth as like like even cuphead had a dash that felt really nice yeah. and uh like in, in my head i'm comparing it to hollow knight because that's yeah. like the platformer that i really like and the controls and that are so tight and smooth mm -hmm. and the dash feels incredible in that game so this one's kind of left me wanting a little bit yeah um double jump was cool i always like double jumps and platform games speaking of i kind of wish there was a wall jump because that's always fun Ooh, hey, yeah. i wouldn't dock points for it not being there no. it's just something that I, I prefer that could be uh something that you get later on i, I could, could totally be. see there being like a grappling hook or something like that in this game or you could do some cool like there, parkour and stuff there's a little like sample gif or video mm -hmm. on this page where it showed you have like a hook thing where it like pulled the enemy closer to her oh, okay. to start wailing on it. That's, yeah, that's cool. So I don't know if you can use that the platform also, or if it's just a weapon. That would be nice. Either way, that's... So I think there's a lot of stuff we didn't get to touch. Yeah, that, no. Yeah. So there's... maybe that isn't the... Uh, we need to talk about... Okay, so something that we kept noticing, the weird juxtapositions of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Enemies. Like, you've got like this hardcore, like gritty monster enemy stuff and then like some of the enemies are just like weird cute little cat things like a lightning baby and like you've got all these robots and monsters and shit going on and then like your your little sidekick or whatever was just it was the little data monkey from Mega Man I also little, happy, like squeaky that's weird. a straight up rip of data from Mega yeah. Man there were, there was also a giant green slime guy with a mustache and a crown that y'all might have missed I did notice that um, yeah yeah, that's just 
It was weird. Yeah. I, but it was also like, I feel like they did it in such a way that I, I felt like it worked. Like it was, it was yeah, interesting. It works for what it is, um, but it still feels strange and disjointed. Yeah. And that's like, it could be hit or miss for anybody at that point. It's like that teetering edge where it's like, you want to say you like the game or you don't like the game. And it's just, some people don't know how to balance on that. Yeah. I can't balance on it. I, I kind of liked that. It, I didn't mean to cut you off, Josh. I'm sorry. I was just going to say the, the cute monsters don't like make me dislike anything about the game yeah. at all. It's like just it's well, that's kind of weird. That just they're trying to just be a little campy and like, oh, that's cute. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes but that makes it memorable. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel. I feel like the little those cutesy little things were like just quirky enough that like when things are strange like that, they tend to stand out in my memory a little more, yeah. you know, and so that that kind of like popped out at me. And it's like, I'm going to remember that stuff because this is this is that weird anime game that had all the monsters and robots, but the cute little enemies, too, that shoot lightning bolts at you or whatever. Yeah. You know, Um. We talked a little bit about like the pixel scaling, like the zooming during oh, some yeah. of the cutscenes. That was a little that was jarring. That's something that you have to be careful of in pixel games. Like if you if you distort the pixel ratio on something, it's it's always gonna look off and distorted. Yeah, so that looked Yeah, especially on that scene where you're on like the bike. Yeah, and, it's, like, and it kept super zooming zoomed in. in. Yeah. It looked horrible. Like at first it wasn't uh, like it's ugly, but whatever. But then it just kept zooming in. It's yeah, like I, what? Like it's, <laughs> it just makes it look ugly. Well, yeah, yeah, there's no there's no point in zooming into something that is like you can't even read the features on it anymore. You know. We One wanna, thing that we didn't really talk about at all what? tonight is the soundtrack. Oh yeah, and the sound effects. Uh, I thought the soundtrack was good, but I don't think it's basic. anything memorable. No, like I'm not humming a melody. Nothing. I don't even remember any of it. I just remember it's yeah. synthesizer arpeggios and yeah. I, f I felt like it did a very good job about setting the mood yeah. for yeah. each specific area. But like you said, I don't nothing. I don't remember anything catchy that really jumped out at me. Yeah. Right. Um, and the sound effects, like I, I found myself really missing voice acting. Yeah, just like huh, ha, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Not. not it doesn't necessarily have to be like full voice acting, but like something we talked about is like Celeste is a great one that pops out in my head. How just, you know, when the characters are talking, you get little sound effects to go along they with like it. Mush to kind mouth of, kind of effects. Yeah. Which that would be something nice to see, I think, because it uh, something about the dialogue. It was really hard for me to follow. I don't know if it's just because we were filming a video and I'm like, OK, let's get to the game or what it was, but See, that's where my my criticism of anime trope stuff like I don't care. I mean, yeah, the giant boob stupid girl thing is dumb, but it doesn't bother me too much if I'm playing something. What does bother me is when there is uh, voiceover and it's really cringe overacting. Yep. Yeah. And I'm just yep. like, I want to cut my ears off because it's just so hard to listen to and I can't take it serious because it's yep. that's when I don't like anime tropes. Yeah. Wait, I think you could Put voicing act it, ugh, put voicing act ah put voice acting in this and it would be good as long as you don't overact and like I that kind of say stuff it would probably happen. Press B on that thing. I know I'm just oh. playing with the controls. Yeah, let him let him. Well, here if you're gonna do that, press start. Nice. <laughs> Storm item. Oh, who's that? Okay. Oh, it's like a rhino. Okay, gotcha. Neat. Whoa, oh, oh shit! A teleporting rhino. This is cool. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this. Ah, yeah, you can absolutely shred him. Woo. Yeah, it looks like you're doing some good oh, yeah, damage here. Uh, yeah. Well. Okay. Nice. Eat it. Owie. So. All right. Go. I need to do a. And right down to the blush. Oh yeah. And everything. Oh Jesus Christ! Whoa. Since he said something about the controls being similar to Mega Man, oh, what oh. the fuck? Yeah. Uh, can I be any? Ooh, unlock different mental units. Oh, okay. This this only changes the visual appearance. Oh, that's even though, that's actually even better because nice. it's, it's a cosmetic change rather than uh, as long as there's no microtransactions. It's like a hat. It's got a little hat above it. That's cool. Okay. Mm. Uh, now what do? Special benefits are unlocked when all parts of a set. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, so you can't actually, like, change your Ooh. armor and stuff? Yeah. This game is, is thoroughly 
Yeah, it's adding like I, I like the pace that it's adding mechanics in. Yeah, we're seeing so more depth too. as we go. It's... This is this is something that I want to keep playing. I think. So this was let's see, this was developed by Jelly Snow and published by Neows. Neows. Neowiz. 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 Okay. I can't read. Why does their logo look like a bunch of butt plugs? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's like definitely. a butt plug shuriken. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway. New band name I called it. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we've been yapping a lot. Should we just... Yeah. We got some numbers to pass out here? Yes, we do. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give it a four. I think it kind of deserves it. Ugh. There's a lot more here than I Ooh. previously anticipated. I'm just gonna go with 4-2. Uh, no negative reasons to not give 5, it's just not a game that I think appeals to us. It's not- yeah. it's, it doesn't like blow my mind. Like this isn't like, whoa, this is awesome, but then- it, I don't know, it, it got cooler the more we played it. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like it could go very well into a f maybe a four and a half. Um, I'm gonna give it a four as well. I don't have nearly as many problems with the anime tropes as uh, everybody else in the room does because I like anime. Well, there's no voice bit. acting, so I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, the last thing that I didn't really mention during a review, but that I talked about earlier in the night, is that the, the make or break thing for me is going to be the story. If I get further into this game and it ends up having like a super compelling, awesome story, this could very easily turn into a five for me because this this type of game is right up my alley. I love platformers. I love the, the action platformer kind of thing. But if the story sucks, then it's going to absolutely ruin it for me. So it's it's just one of those things that I have to play a little more into. It. But yeah, I'm going to give it a four for now, just from what I've seen. For a game that is $10 with this level of polish, is I'd... it 10 bucks? Yeah, it's only like ten bucks. Oh, it's on sale. Well, it's yeah, on it's, it's, yeah, it's mean, on sale. It's it's generally I think fifteen. 15. Even um, then, that's that feels appropriate. Yeah, I see nothing wrong. I feel like this game could actually end up being kind of fun. I love it. I yeah. loved it, dude. I love the art style. I love the only th the, the biggest thing that I really didn't like was just how ditzy your main character is. Yeah, not even not even her, Captain Yuna. If Captain Yuna were a strong, stoic powerful female warrior than to offset your ditzy main character i would have been like this is cool as shit yeah but, i mean she's supposed to be the badass strong one right yeah mm -hmm. but they kind of fell flat there yep and then aside from a couple few visual things like i felt the controls were great i thought it looked beautiful i thought you know it, the the mechanics to it seemed super cool yeah um, and it's it's just gonna be a matter for me of just playing more I just want to figure out what the story's like, you know Yeah, I mean if you find out that you like it even more after we yeah. get done playing it, then I might buy it This is I could especially if it's on switch I could absolutely see this being a game that I fall in love with as long as this, the story is there to back up All yeah. the other great stuff about it, you know And if you like these kind of anime Action platformer stuff, and yeah. obviously you're gonna fucking yeah. love this. So for yeah. 15 bucks, I'd absolutely recommend this. Yeah, and, and it's if, on sale right now, guys. Yeah, it's only it, 10.49. Well, it may not be on sale by the time this episode goes up, but if it is still on sale, oh, it ends March 18th. Well, <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Uh, if, if you if if you don't think this is gonna be your cup of tea for 15 bucks, catch it on sale because as we can see, it does go on sale, and it. If it's not worth it for 15 bucks to you, then it's definitely going to be worth it for 10 bucks. So I would say invest in some of these Neo Wiz Check games. They got, they got some decent stuff. Because I know that Skull game got a good look too. What do you think, Josh? Would you recommend it for $15? Yes, I would. Yeah. I would. <laughs> I just won't play it. Sorry. All right. <laughs> well, I guess that's all we have to say about this for tonight. That was the biggest one for our treasure bits. Hell yeah. Treasure pit. What the... What are we calling this? Tre treasure, the treasure pit? Yes. The treasure pit. The treasure pit. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we will see you all no. next time. Bye.